So, on request, our viewers have been asking us to do a gun test on Maruku's. Maruku, in our eyes, is one of the most popular guns on the market. It's within the Browning family. They are made in Japan. They, in actual fact, the, the machine-made Brownings are made in the Maruku factory. Maruku's aren't really advertised that much in the UK, but they are the only gun, as far as we, we know, they are the only off-the-shelf gun, under £1,500 gun, that have won a double Commonwealth gold medal, or gold medals, which was Stephen Walton in 2010. They have gone to the Olympic Games. They have got won numerous world titles in sporting and Olympic disciplines. And the basic grade one sporter or trap gun is the ones that we use the most within that competitive world. TSC is brought to you with support from Sabati Guns from Range Right, CCI Clays, Yield It's Guns, Ely Cartridges, Browning Guns, Bowman Traps, Breeden School, and Charles Stanley Wealth Management. You see, there is loads of gun manufacturers out there. They're all promoted all over the internet, all over our magazines, everything. They sponsor everything. You've got Blas, you've got Kriegoff, you've got even Prazi, which argumentatively Prazi is the best trap gun in the world. But they all advertise, they all promote. Whereas Maruku, you barely see them in the magazines, you barely see them everywhere. There is some secondhand Marukus that have gone on for years and years and years. They've had thousands, hundreds of thousands of shells put through them, and you can still use them. They still don't go wrong. I always say they're a bit like a Land Rover, but they are a fantastic value for money gun. One of the best value for money guns. We have the traditional grade one. I've got here the trap gun, but they do this in a sporter and they do it in a trap gun. The trap gun is the MK38, and this is the one that Steve Walton won his double gold Commonwealth Games with. Um, generally, most people that go to that level use the grade one. Steve Scott did use a grade three Maruku when he first started. Um, I actually used a grade five Maruku, but majority of people, the grade one is the where it starts. And the reason why it's very good is because you can get this in 32 inch or 30 inch. It's got an adjustable comb, which moves left, right, up, down. It's got uh, a proper rib. It's got a trap forend, which you can get this on a sporter as well. Um, you can actually get the sporter on the trap forend. This one's fixed choke because it's made for shooting trap. Uh, it's got the recoil pad on the back for the, for the trap. Uh, it is one of the one of the best, most used trap guns on the market. Um, and all being all, under, under, for new, if you go for new, this is under £1,600. For a medal winning gun, under £1,600, you can't go wrong. You can pick one of these up in the shelves, a decent one, second hand, for sort of £1,200, £1,300. Um, and that is why they are such very good value for money. They never go wrong. I think my one, I shot 50,000 shells through it, get it serviced once a year. That's all it needs. Most best value for money gun you'll ever have. And then within that, you've got the grade five version. You have, I have got a grade five here. This is the grade five Sporter. I mean, fantastic. They all come through with the best wood that you can. Engraving, they've even got teardrops on them, multi-choke. This is the sporter. So if you want a nice game gun or a nice sporter for going game shooting, it looks the part. It absolutely phenomenal value for money. Pick a decent second hand one of these up for between 1,800 and two and a half grand. They're five grand new. Fantastic value for money and they go on forever. And this is the MK70 model. So they have the MK60, the MK70, and the MK38, which is the trap. And they also do this in 20 bore as well. 
in 28 inch, 30 inch, or 32 inch. The, the trap gun is really the only one I would suggest you go for the 32 inch. A lot of sporting shooters use the trap gun, which is the one I had before. So a lot of sporting shooters actually use this for sporting because they handle phenomenally well. They just really handle absolutely fantastic. And then you can also, there is some of the old, old Marukus. My father had an, an old, very old, a Maruku ORE, which is really old, really old. He's always said when he can blame the gun, he will change it. He's still got that now, 40 years on. It is fired probably over a million cartridges. And then you've got one of these, the old Maruku Black Action. This is actually our school gun at the Oxford Gun Company. But they go on forever. I mean, I wouldn't like to say how many cartridges this has had through it. It's based on the MK70, but it's fantastic. It's even got a reasonably nice piece of wood on it. It's fixed choke. Rib, sporting rib. You cannot go wrong with them. In actual fact, there's one of these, we've got a couple of these. We've actually, get, picking these up second hand is like hen's teeth. because Everyone wants to keep them because they never go wrong. We've actually got one of these on the shelf now for under a thousand pounds. So you get a fairly well-built gun. You can pick a second hand one of these up and this was probably 15, 20 years old, under a thousand pounds. You can't go wrong. Let's, let's have a shoot with them and see how they go. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. 